In computer networking, IP over avian carriers is a humorously intended proposal to carry Internet protocol traffic by birds such as homing pigeons. IP over avian carriers was initially described in RFC 1149, a request for comments issued by the Internet Engineering Task Force written by D. Weitzman and released on April 1, 1990. It is one of several April Fool's Day RFCs. Weitzman described an improvement of his protocol in RFC 2549, IP over avian carriers with quality of service. Later, in RFC 6214 released on April 1, 2011, and 13 years after the introduction of IPv6, Carpenter and Hinden published adaptation of RFC 1149 for IPv6. IPOAC has been successfully implemented, but for only nine packets of data, with a packet loss ratio of 55%, and a response time ranging from 3,000 seconds to over 6,000 seconds. Thus, this technology suffers from poor latency. Nevertheless, for large transfers, avian carriers are capable of high average throughput when carrying flash memory devices, effectively implementing a sneaker net. During the last 20 years, the information density of storage media and thus the bandwidth of an avian carrier has increased three times faster than the bandwidth of the Internet. IPOAC may achieve bandwidth peaks of orders of magnitude more than the Internet when used with multiple avian carriers in rural areas. For example, if 16 homing pigeons are given 832 GBS D cards each, and take an hour to reach their destination, the throughput of the transfer would be 9102 Mbit S, excluding transfer to and from the SD cards. Real Life Implementation On April 28, 2001, IPOAC was actually implemented by the Bergen Linux user group. They sent nine packets over a distance of approximately five kilometers, each carried by an individual pigeon and containing one ping, and received four responses. Script started on Saturday, April 28, 11, 2409, 2001. They guard at Jiva Salem, Dollar of Convict Tunno, Tunno Lincoln Cap, Point to Point Protocol, INET ADDR. 10.0.3.2 PTP, 10.0.3.1 mask, 255.255.255.255, UP.0. Point point running norm app multiquest MTU, 150 metric, 1, RX packets, 1 errors, 0 dropped, 0 overruns, 0 frame, 0, TX packets, 2 errors, 0 dropped, 0 overruns, 0. Carrier, 0. Collisions, 0. Rx bytes, 88 Tx bytes, 168. They guard at Jiva Salem, dollar ping C99910.0.3.1, PING 10.0.3.156 data bytes, 64 bytes from 10.0.3.1 OCMP sec equals 0 TTL equals 255 time equals 6,165,731.1 milliseconds, 64 bytes from 10.0.3.1 OCMP sec equals 4 TTL equals 255 time equals 3,211,900.8 milliseconds. 64 bytes from 10.0.3.1 OCMP sec equals 2 TTL equals 255 time equals 5,124,922.8 milliseconds, 64 bytes from 10.0.3.1 OCMP sec equals 1 TTL equals 255 time equals 6,388,671.9 milliseconds. 10.0.3.1 ping statistics, 9 packets transmitted, 4 packets received, 55% packet loss, round trip min max equals 3,211,900.86,388,671.9 miss, they guard at Jiva Salem, dollar exit. Script done on Saturday April 28, 14, 14 28, 2001. This real-life implementation was mentioned by the French MP Martin Billard in the French Assembler Copyright e National during debates about Hadopi. Risks In December 2005, 
the Gartner report on bird flu that concluded a Euro OEA pandemic wouldn't affect IT systems directly. A Euro was humorously criticized for neglecting to consider RFC 1149 and RFC 2549 in its analysis. Other avian data transfer methods, rafting photographers already use pigeons as a sneaker net to transport digital photos on flash media from the camera to the tour operator. Over a 30-mile distance, a single pigeon may be able to carry tens of gigabytes of data in around an hour, which on an average bandwidth basis compares very favorably to current ADSL standards, even when accounting for lost drives. Inspired by RFC 2549, on September 9, 2009, the marketing team of The Unlimited, a regional company in South Africa, decided to host a tongue-in-cheek pigeon race between their pet pigeon Winston, and local telecom company Telcom SA. The race was to send 4 gigabytes of data from Oak to Hillcrest, approximately 60 a km apart. The pigeon carrying a micro SD card, versus a Telcom ADSL line. Winston beat the data transfer over Telcom's ADSL line, with a total time of 2 hours, 6 minutes and 57 seconds from uploading data on the micro SD card to completion of download from card. At the time of Winston's victory, the ADSL transfer was just under 4% complete. In November 2009 the Australian comedy current affairs television program Hungry Beast repeated this experiment. The Hungry Beast team took up the challenge after a fiery parliament session wherein the government of the time blasted the opposition for not supporting telecommunications investments saying that if the opposition had their way that Australians would be doing data transfer over carrier pigeons. The Hungry Beast team had read about the South African experiment and assumed that as a developed Western country, Australian speeds would be higher. The experiment had the team transfer a 700 megabytes file via three delivery methods to determine which was the fastest. A carrier pigeon with a micro SD card, a car carrying a USB stick, or a Telstra ADSL line. The data was to be transferred from Tirana in rural New South Wales to the western Sydney suburb of Prospect, New South Wales, a distance of 132 kilometres by road. Approximately halfway through the race the internet connection unexpectedly dropped and the transfer had to be restarted, the pigeon won the race with a time of approximately 1 hour 5 minutes, the car came in second at 2 hours 10 minutes, while the internet transfer did not finish having dropped out a second time and not coming back. The estimated time to upload completion at one point was as high as nine hours, and at no point did the estimated upload time fall below four hours. A similar pigeon race was conducted by Michelle Brumfield in rural Yorkshire, England, delivering a five-minute video to a BBC correspondent 75 miles away in Skegness. She pitted the pigeon against an upload to YouTube via British Telecom Broadband. The pigeon arrived in about 90 minutes while the upload was still incomplete, having failed once in the interim. In September 2010, ISP Timico UK pitted a few homing pigeons against a rural broadband connection to see which was faster. Each pigeon carried a micro SD card with 200 MB of HD video data, while simultaneously a typical internet connection was used to upload the same video data to YouTube. This was done to raise awareness of poor internet speeds experienced by many rural users. See also, semaphore flag signaling system, homing pigeon, April Fool's Day RFC, references. External links, carrier pigeons bringing contraband into prisons, Bruce Schneer, www.schneer.com, June 27, 2008, pigeon-powered internet takes flight, Stephen Shankland, Connect News, May 4, 2001, Winston the homing pigeon draws tweets of support, The Mail and Guardian, September 10, 2009, The Unlimited, http, www.mg.coza2009-09-10 Pigeon carries data bundles faster than telcom.